Mauritius Leasing Company, provider of leasing facilities for movable assets and equipment, announced its merger with Bremer Banking Corporation and Bremer Holding Company. Ashraf Ismail, the CEO of Bremer Banking, now joins us for more insight. Thank you so much, Ashraf. Great to have you uh, on the line. Uh, if we could just give us some more insights, I mean, with regards to this merger, uh, we know that Mauritius Leasing Company is now going to delist from the stock exchange. Could you give us an indication of how it's actually going to affect all the listings and then if you are going to go back onto the market and then list on the Mauritius Stock Exchange. Thank you, Lorato. Basically, uh, we've uh, been listed on the Stock Exchange for some time now, and with the merger with Bremer Banking Corporation, what's going to happen in the next few days, uh, the amalgamation between the bank and the leasing company is uh, basically coming effective as from today, on the 2nd of May, and in one week's time, as from the 9th of May, uh, the bank will actually replace Mauritius leasing on the stock exchange of Mauritius and it will be listed uh, and will be the third uh, listed bank on the island. I see. Okay, so then tell us about how the re-rating is going to occur with regards to the share price. I mean, is there any indication of how that is going to work out or is it just, uh, you know, the name is the name only going to change and the, the listing price still staying the same? Well, basically what's uh, happened is that uh, on the 28th of uh, March, we actually, uh, the action, the, the shares of Mercedes leasing was suspended because we had that transaction that was happening and uh, we had to wait for the shareholders meeting of 16th of April for the amalgamation to be voted. And during that time, the shares were suspended and the last quoted price was 1050 per share of Mercedes leasing. And as part of the conversion process into the bank, uh, each shareholder of Mercedes Leasing is getting 1.78 shares into the bank, which is almost like doubling the share uh, holding. Uh, and for uh, the listing price, we are talking now about 950. So if you look at comparatively, we are talking about coming from a, a price of around 1050 per share. We are now having an equivalent of around 16.9 for the same holding you had in Mercer's leasing, which is a fantastic value for the shareholders that were in Mercer's leasing. That will now be shareholders of the bank. Okay, so Ashraf, if you could give us an indication of the synergies between uh, you know, a leasing company and a bank, I mean, uh, surely there's a lot of risk um, you know, mitigating factors that one needs to think of. And just tell us about the premise of this actual merger and how it is going to uh, you know, create a very strong entity from what I'm hearing. Yeah, fantastic. I think uh, the best uh, uh, synergy will be because both the leasing company and the bank will be under one roof. So there's a lot of cross-selling that you can expect between the client base of the bank and the leasing company. For example, the, the leasing company clients were used to only one product, which is the leasing product. And now they will have access to a plethora of, of different products under the bank, which effectively means that a, a lot of business can be achieved within the bank now. And uh, secondly, uh, the leasing company was initially funding itself from fixed deposits, and this was uh, basically a, a higher cost funding option for the leasing company. Having access to bank funding would mean that uh, basically margins, etc., will be much better for the, the entity yeah. as a whole. You can have access to lower cost funding through current and savings accounts and uh, that translates into better gains for the shareholders at the end of the day, but also for the customers because they will have access to more competitive pricing. So we are looking at, at fantastic gains both from a, a customer point of view and also uh, from a shareholder's point of view and uh, from the depositors who are also putting money into the, this entity. So, so for my and, understanding, uh, Ashraf, I mean, you've got around 3 billion uh, rupees under management in uh, Mauritius Leasing, is that correct? Correct, that's the total assets of Mauritius Leasing and the bank we're talking around about 6.5 and the new entity will have a total asset base of around 10 billion uh, which basically places it uh, at a higher level in terms of its ranking in the market. So with a larger total asset base, with larger capital base, the bank will be more prominent as one entity with a stronger capital structure and a stronger mm -hmm. portfolio of clients and assets 
from where to grow its uh, business further. Well, um, Ashraf, if you could also give, I mean, I mentioned risk. If you could give us an indication of how you plan to ensure that you don't have too much exposure to sort of the leasing uh, side of things and also uh, property, which we know is also going under a bit of strain in Mauritius if you just look at foreign exposure right now, given the fact that we, we're worried about uh, the Eurozone crisis and we're starting to see uh, less interest coming through, at least from the international front. Um, surely, from a banking perspective, one needs to be very cognizant of the risks that could filter through. Yeah, in fact, uh, well, in terms of the housing market in Mauritius, we haven't really, uh, you know, suffered to the same extent that you've seen in, in Europe and, and, the, and the United States. I think the housing market here has been quite uh, stable here in terms of prices. We didn't uh, witness the kind of price drops, etc., in the house prices. But uh, I think in terms of exposure, we have been, uh, in terms of the leasing companies, was fairly diversified across various sectors, and the company was uh, mainly focused in on, on uh, you know, vehicles, transportation, and also machinery for uh, manufacturing industries, etc. And with the bank, it's similar in terms of diversification. And uh, the good thing is that uh, recently, the leasing company went into microfinancing, which gives it another avenue for, for growth and at the same time a larger granular base from where to work which gives a higher margin in terms of, of the uh, product yeah. that, that we're talking about. And, and it's definitely much more accessible now, bringing uh, finance to, to the mass market, uh, to the grassroots, and that's something which is a first in the market here. Fantastic, Ashraf. We have to leave it there. Thank you, sir, for joining us. All the best. Ashraf Ismail, uh, CEO of Mauritius Leasing.